Hello and welcome uh, to Bloomberg Quint. We are breaking into regular programming with news coming in on the Indusind Bharat financial merger. So breaking news here on Bloomberg Quint. Uh, the news, of course, is that the merger has been finalized. Uh, this was something that was flagged off in September when the two parties said that they have entered into exclusive talks. Uh, today there was a board meeting and Indusind Bank has finalized the scheme of amalgamation. Uh, I'm just going to run you through the details and then we'll get views on this as well. Uh, but essentially, uh, the composite scheme of arrangement is going to be one between Bharat Financial Financial, the bank and a subsidiary, a wholly owned subsidiary of the bank, which is yet to be incorporated. Uh, the share exchange ratio, which essentially is what we were looking for, uh, is at uh, this. The bank uh, shall uh, take three, uh, 639 shares of the bank will be in exchange for 1,000 shares of Bharat Financial. That is essentially uh, the swap ratio. Uh, what they are saying also as part of this arrangement is that the business correspondence business uh, will be taken and transferred on a slump sale basis to a wholly owned subsidiary. Uh, not entirely clear why they are doing that, uh, but essentially that number on your screen right now is what everybody was waiting for. Shraddha Babla uh, is with me as well. Uh, Shraddha, you've been speaking to analysts on this. Uh, how does the swap ratio compare? Because essentially that is the new information Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Uh, so when you say uh, 1,000 shares uh, is to six, uh, 639 shares, it basically comes to a swap ratio of 1.5, uh, 6 is to 1. So basically that is absolutely in line with what analysts had pegged the ratio at after uh, on 11 September when the news of of uh, both the companies entering into a merger exclusivity broke out. They had pegged it at about 1.6 is to 1, so broadly in line. And at that swap ratio, analysts had also said that this would be a uh, this would not be dilutive as far as uh, Indusind Bank is concerned and that is because uh, the valuations that both of these companies trade at are absolutely similar. So if you just uh, have a quick look at the kind of uh, price to book value ratios both these companies trade at, uh, Indusind Bank trades at 4.5 times its price to book value uh, based on FI18 estimated uh, numbers and Bharat Financial at 4.7 times. So uh, and uh, at Friday's closing price, if you see at yesterday's closing price, it uh, values Values Bharat Financial at 1118 per share. That's close to 11% premium. Uh, so broadly, uh, as the um, ratios are concerned, they seem to be absolutely in line with what analysts were expecting. So no. At Centrum Broking is joining us. Pile, good afternoon. Thanks for taking the time to speak to us on a on a weekend. Uh, what do you make of uh, the uh, the swap ratios for starters? Uh, sorry, I couldn't get your question. I just wanted to understand what you make of the swap ratios, the share exchange ratios. Are they in line with what you had anticipated? It's absolutely in line with uh, as expected. What we were expecting is anyway somewhere between uh, 550 to 600 shares and uh, 639 shares for 1,000 of Bharat Financial is definitely in line and on the positive side, of course. Okay. Uh, you have, if you've read through the uh, release or at least the notification sent by Indusind Bank, uh, there is uh, there is a wholly owned subsidiary to be created where they're going to transfer from uh, what I can read uh, the business correspondence business. Uh, is that meaningful at all, or are they just structuring it in a way that the sales network is outside uh, the core bank? On the face of it, from what I've understood, uh, is that once. Uh, Bharat Financial Service, uh, Bharat Financial Inclusion, the whole business will be incorporated into uh, Indusind Bank. It will, uh, they have also mentioned that this is going to be without, uh, you know, uh, winding up Bharat Financials. So basically what they want to do is keep the business as it is and just pick it up and place it under Indusind Bank. So maybe that is that could be a logic. And keeping it in, under a different subsidiary would ease operations for both the bank as well as the uh, new subsidiary. Right, um, uh, Payal, uh, just an ad additional question. Of course, they haven't uh, really clarified with respect to, uh, you know, if they whether they're going to retain Bharat Financial's identity or not. Uh, you know, because that will be, uh, you know, the key as to how Indusind Bank will cross sell um, uh, its products to Bharat Financial's uh, customers. But uh, any thoughts on how? Uh, uh, you know whether 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 they should retain this brand, and of course, I, I believe the management has said that the operations will uh, remain with the Bharat Financial management itself. Uh, see, uh, so long as retaining the brand is concerned, I believe even if they do not retain the brand Bharat Financial, uh, it wouldn't cause too much of a problem to uh, the business or their customers because the in the entire operations are going to be maintained intact. And Indusind Bank and Bharat Financial have been. Uh, you know, working as uh, correspondent partners uh, for some time. So maybe, you know, for their banking operations and things like that. 
for uh, the JLG customers and things like that. So maybe this will will not cause much of a trouble for any of them. Okay, Apal. So finally, it's a done deal now. Uh, we had it, it had been in the offing for a while. So uh, now, what next do you look forward to in terms of the guidance for uh, Bharat Financial, and uh, how do you expect the stock price to react on Monday, especially given that you're saying that the swap ratios are in line with what you're expecting? So guidance in the sense that the stock price should remain up because uh, this, uh, uh, according to the swap ratio of 639 uh, shares of Indusen Bank for 1000 of Bharat Financial is definitely in favourable of the Bharat Financial shareholders. And uh, so long as the business is concerned, yes, of course it is expected to remain as it is robust. And uh, since there is not going to be much of a change in the Way it is managed, or uh, even the people who will manage the business, so it is. It remains positive whether it is uh, individually as Bharat Financial or once it comes under Investment Bank, which also is a very good performing bank. Uh, Pail, have you uh, by any chance happened to calculate how much book value dilution will this kind of swap ratio mean? I think I will have to get back to you, but uh, on a rough back of the envelope kind of a calculation, it should. Uh, give us a price to book for of something around five times uh, on amalgamation. Right. And how much will this merger? How much do you expect it to add to uh, loans and gross net interest margins? If again, if you have done those calculations uh, based on the swap ratios that you assumed on 11th September. Margins, as of now, I will not be able to tell you. Uh, you know, maybe it can't throw up much of a numbers. But yes, it will be margin positive, mainly because. Uh, Microfinance as a business is a high margin business, and uh, Bharat uh, Indusen Bank will have access to low cost funds. So that marriage is a very healthy one. Right. So this this should add up to margins. I wouldn't be able to throw up a good number of to what level, but yes, it will help the company on a consolidated basis. Pahil, uh, like many others, do you also believe that most of the cleanup for Bharat Financial is done? Yes, I believe most of the cleanup is done, and basically, uh, I wouldn't call it a uh, call it a cleanup thing because if they really see Bharat Financial did not have too much of a problem other than the eight-week lag uh, loan book, which had occurred only after demonetization, right? So that, of course, uh, if you go and see Bharat Financial's history, whenever they have faced a trouble with serious NPS, they have written it off, taken the hit, and moved on with a robust uh, business growth. So they are in a good position. There okay, is fine. not much of a threat uh, coming in with 99% collection already come in for the loans that were disbursed after first gen. So right, they are in a good position. Okay, Pal, thanks so much for speaking to us. Uh, that's uh, Pal Pandya, research analyst at Centrum Broking, essentially saying that from a market standpoint, uh, the swap ratios are pretty much what they were expected. 639 uh, shares uh, will be of Bharat Financial will be uh, exchanged for, sorry, 1,000 shares of Bharat Financial will be exchanged for 639 shares of the bank. Uh, Shada, I think, uh, you know, I mean, uh, the two or three things when we spoke to the managements before. So essentially, the surprise or the new information is just the swap ratios. Uh, the fundamentals of the deal don't change. Uh, so when we had an extensive conversation with Ramesh Sopti of uh, Indusind Bank. Uh, you know uh, when this was first announced, he said a couple of things uh, that while at the, and these are the numbers you have done currently as things stand, I think the microfinance book is at about nine percent of the overall book. Right. Uh, but he said over a period of time, obviously the bank's book will probably grow faster Fast. than the microfinance book. So he would be comfortable with microfinance settling at about eight uh, percent of the overall book. Uh, the second thing he said is yes, it'll be accretive right from day one. Uh, margins will get added because obviously the microfinance business is uh, higher margin uh, for uh, the Bharat financial side of the business although now it's all one business uh, but you know automatically the cost of funds for that particular business goes down uh, the concern always has been about the volatility he said that he does not uh, see volatility and he made the point that even the commercial vehicle book uh, which is you know uh, traditionally True. considered volatile uh, the bank has managed it well and you have to give him credit for that they have indeed managed it well uh, Lalita Shivastav AVP uh, and research analyst at Sher Khan is joining us with his thoughts as well uh, thanks so much for joining us appreciate uh, you speaking to us on a Saturday. Uh, what do you make of the swap ratios? I think uh, the analysts we've spoken to so far suggest this is bang in line with what the market was expecting. Yeah, so uh, actually uh, we were uh, considering working with a range of uh, scenarios and I think this comes tight in between. So it does not look to be you know up, uh, upsetting that. Apart from that uh, valuation front, I think that you know the, the shareholding pattern of the acquire, uh, acquiring uh, 
और भारत फाइनेंशियल इज समथिंग लाइक नॉट समथिंग दैट इज गोइंग टू बी यू नो टू मच बी एडवर्स टू दैट सो वन ओवरऑल यू नो ओवरऑल इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हेलो प्लीज गो ऑन ललिता या and overall if you see that uh, the merged entity you know the transition from a mf mfi to a bank i think that's a very positive kind of a transformation because uh, 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 that kind of a, a, a move also takes care of a lot of you know uh, risk that were earlier uh, uh, coming with the book political risk or uh, you know regulatory risk all those things are being taken care of so i think even the shareholders would be happy with that this is a very no- normal natural kind of a progression that is uh, being proposed i think that should be uh, well accepted talita do you not see any kind of a, a drag at least with respect to the near term execution issues and any lag the uh, you know effect of clean up costs uh, for bharat financials book uh, any near term issues and uh, of course uh, the, uh, it also remain uh, what's also uh, likely to happen is that the merger going through with only mean a higher risk profile uh, for indus and bank owing to that micro uh, the increase in share of the micro finance portfolio uh, is uh, do you see any worries or concerns in uh, this bit uh see a uh, very difficult to take a call on that but uh, uh, prime of ac my understanding is that you know the last couple of quarters there has been lot of recognition and cleaning up on uh, on part of bharat financial books as well uh, so the management has also be, you know the, the results have also reflected on that so uh, i think that you know overall uh, a lot of uh, uh, pain or 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 uh, asset quality issues has already been recognized and uh, taken into account uh, and the book that uh, indus end is getting should be in a relatively good, uh, decent shape first thing secondly uh, 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 my sense is that you know uh, indus end bank already has a mutual fund uh, sorry an mfi book so it's not too much of a, 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 a new thing that they are acquiring uh, all they have to do is you know uh, uh, ensure that you know their risks and their processes are Uh, aligned with uh, uh, the banks so i don't see too much of an issue uh, initial niggles can be there would be there because you know people and uh, a lot of uh, uh, those processes are being aligned but apart from that i don't see a very significant issue on that lalita have a more fundamental question uh, you know i mean i know what it does immediately for indus and bank it gives them uh, you know some sort of strength in the microfinance business it probably adds to the margins as well uh, but you know it's slightly more medium term where indus and has given very consistent growth uh, why do you think it was essential for them to do this right now is it because the retail market where they choose to stay focused uh, does not have enough growth opportunities in the urban semi urban area they don't seem comfortable getting into the corporate book in a big way uh, so you know one view out there is that this was perhaps the only way for them to really uh, sort of exponentially grow uh see the thing is uh, uh, agreed that banking and financial is becoming a very very uh, competitive sphere but at the same time you also have to understand you know a lot of psus are psu banks are not actively competing in the market so as to say uh, uh, because of you know whatever rbi related issues or uh, 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 categories that they have been putting so that is one thing you know the uh, the space for these uh, newer age private sector banks is much more easier compared to earlier days secondly uh, yes uh, indusind had a very significant vehicle finance portfolio and apart from that uh, rest of its retail book was kind of you know uh, 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 pretty small with this kind of an acquisition it also adds another you know significant chunk of uh, retail uh, 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 loans for that for itself which not only uh, 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 adds more uh, diversification to its book it also adds uh, a lot of you know cross sell and other opportunities for the bank uh, i don't think it was an imperative i think this is a a, a, a good opportunistic move and it's a, um, uh, should be seen in that light Now, let's have. Do you expect Indusin Bank to continue to scout for acquisitions? Uh, you know, to use the inorganic growth uh, uh, route as well, because in the past the management um, had said that there were some four, five deals that they were looking at, but they had taken nothing to the board. It's just Bharat Financial then uh, that came out. So, do you expect them to, uh, you know, try to consider this inorganic route further? Uh, I 
will not be in a position to comment on what the management is going to do uh, uh, my sense is that uh, 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 the management is going to you know uh, uh, get through with this uh, deal at least for uh, for the uh, near time and then you know maybe look at something uh, else uh, but again it will be a call and decision of the management and we will have to you know uh, uh, see things accordingly Uh, All right, Narita. Thanks so much for that. Uh, that's the view, uh, second view coming in. Uh, I think both the analysts that we have spoken to so far are saying that the swap ratios uh, are entirely in line with expectation. I know, Shraddha, that uh, you know the preoccupants of the market will be with swap ratios and the valuation, etc. Uh, but for those who have tracked this space for a very long time, I think it's important to remember that this is essentially the end of Bharat Financial. Uh, it was called SKS Microfinance. It yes. was the first listed microfinance company. True. It was the first for-profit model uh, of microfinance in India. It's gone through many many ups and downs uh, and if you go to bloombergquin.com you'll get a sense of what uh, it's been through uh, i think the andhra pradesh crisis uh, sort of really knocked the winds out of uh, you know the sales of this company uh, you know they may have recovered in terms of numbers uh, but the subsequent churn in the company the churn in the management uh, they never really managed to recover from all of that so uh, right from then right from that point in time when they went through that crisis then there was that whole management reshuffle akula getting uh, you know shafted out of the company uh, the new management taking charge there was a lot of uh, you know sort of concern about what is the new strategy uh, then they applied for a small finance bank license uh, that got denied to them because you know there was a lot of sort of uh, volatility in their business so they were among the few who did not manage to get that small finance bank license uh, and at that point i think uh, you know the management sort of threw up its hands and said that what is the future for this business right. uh, do we continue to run it as a microfinance company if we do then we are at a clear disadvantage uh, with other competitors like you know ujjivan uh, jan lakshmi equitas all of them have converted into you know all the large microfinance companies are more or less converted uh, and they were just like you know uh, what is the future for the business so since then i think you know rumors of deals have been doing the rounds they have been scouting so i think this was a case right. uh, where uh, you know if indusind was chasing equally bharat financial was chasing to get the deal closed uh, so it was a very sort of even uh, deal so but, but era having said that it, uh, the deal having gone through i don't think there were any doubts with this, uh, on on this aspect but the fact that the deal has gone through really highlights the kind of confidence that the management of indusind bank actually had on bharat financial's uh, books because we were wondering uh, how they really able Uh, how they have able have been able to do so well because all reports are only suggesting the kind of stress that microfinance industry. No, they haven't done well. I mean, they've gone through the volatility. It's the whole industry has stabilized in terms of collection ratios, and that is the reason that the deal got delayed. If you remember, delayed, the deal was yeah. getting talked about, you know, in uh, last, last year. Last year. Uh, and then demonetization happened, and all the microfinance portfolios went for a knock. Collection ratios went down. Uh, you had loan growth. You know, people starting to question the kind of loan growth, and that question still very much remains. Collection. ratios are back to about 100%. Uh, 99% is what the SKS man uh, the Bharat Financial Management had told us when we spoke to them in uh, uh, September, but since then we had recently spoken to Satin Credit Care for instance. So they said that collection efficiency is entirely back to normal mm -hmm. and growth is back to normal. Uh, on growth I have a point to make though uh, because see how much you want to grow is the management's choice. Uh, in a microfinance business where you know penetration is you know in that segment is low in terms of finance. So you can grow as fast as you want. The question is how safely you're growing. Uh, and there is i think where the difference will lie in between how the bharat financial management has managed the business and how indusind will manage the business at least until ramesh sopti is there uh, ramesh sopti is a conservative banker to the core uh, no matter which book he runs he runs it in a conservative fashion even uh, you know high volatility books like the diamond business he knows exactly how to time it right uh, and i think what you will see is the difference in which the microfinance book uh, is run under the current indusind uh, bank management we haven't got any details on what the role of the current uh, bharat financial management will be have we no no i i, I didn't read that i didn't come across that yes. at all yeah they haven't said anything i think they have a press conference later today so maybe we'll get uh, you know some idea there uh, because in that conversation in september we had also asked them whether some branding of bharat financial would be maintained right, right. Uh, i don't know that these products are heavily branded so i don't know that that is important but the sales force the ground sales force will be important and that's perhaps why you know that business correspondent business is being instituted right. as a separate sub Maybe. So, yeah, probably later today we will get a lot more idea 
uh, with respect to the uh, timelines, with respect to the merger completion and the kind of, uh, I, I don't know if the management will comment or it will be too early for them to talk about what are the initial products that they want to try uh, and push to BFIL customers now that they're on board. So I think those are some of the details that we will be watching. Absolutely. About. Micro insurance, you know, some of the savings products. Uh, I think, you know, uh, the liability side always is very attractive in rural areas, whether you can convert that uh, or not uh, remains to be seen. You may want to just run through all the uh, key metrics of the two companies. We had that graphic on screen. If we can bring it up, uh, back up, uh, Shada, we can just do a quick before we wrap up a uh, sense of what the numbers for the individual entities and the combined entity will look like. Right. So, uh, the combined numbers I have for uh, what the microfinance book will look like. The currently, uh, Indusind Bank's microfinance share in its uh, loan book stands at 2.18%, which, and for Bharat Financial, of course, it is 100% microfinance. So, overall, after uh, this merger and taking account into account uh, the current loan book sizes, we will have the microfinance book share rising to as much as 9%. Uh, broadly speaking, uh, analysts expected this to be uh, ROA, ROE, and margin accretive business. Uh, that is mainly because uh, if you just look at the kind of um, ROA and ROE numbers of uh, uh, both these companies for Indusind Bank, while ROA is to that 1.9%, for Bharat Financial is to that 2.7%. Now, this is as of the June quarter, but of course, if you uh, th that's because they had taken a big uh, loss during this quarter and the March quarter. But uh, historically, if you see uh, for the quarters uh, before demonetization, the ROA stood much higher at close to 4%. And that's being one of the reasons uh, which makes this business attractive. ROEs, again, Indusind Bank is to that 16.5%. For Bharat Financial, it looks uh, the number of 13.6% uh, doesn't look very attractive right now. But again, that's only for the past two quarters where we have seen this kind of a uh, loss coming in, which has hurt the, uh, them. But even from a valuation perspective, again, for Indusind Bank, four and a half times price to book and Bharat Financial, 4.7 times price to book. So broadly, um, both trading at similar kind of valuations. All right, Shraddha, I think uh, that's the initial analysis here on Bloomberg Quint. We'll wrap it up. The press conference, the management will be speaking a little later in the afternoon, post uh, 3.30. Uh, we will get you all the latest on that. And do go to uh, BloombergQuint.com. We've got all of these details that we've discussed up there. Thanks for watching.